This video will assist in training you to fill a volunteer role at Paddle Victoria Marathon events. We would like to thank you for volunteering your time. PV Marathon believes that safe and efficient management of events requires officials and volunteers to have trained in advance for the roles that they fill in events. Both race officials and volunteers are important to the successful running of events. The distinction for our purposes is that officials are the designated positions on the competition committee, the safety officer and technical officer roles, while volunteers fill other roles essential to the operation of events. These are listed in the organisation chart. Radio communication is vital during a race to ensure the safety of paddlers and volunteers. Radios are used by race officials and volunteers, the chief official, chief umpire, chief safety officer, turn boy and portage officials, timekeeping and safety boat crews. Different types of radios may be used at different events. The operation of radios will be demonstrated at the volunteer briefings. You will also do a radio check where you switch on the radio, check the battery is charged, Ensure that you are on the right channel. This is usually Paddle Vic channel one. Test each radio and set the volumes. If you're in a safety boat, ensure that the waterproof bags are used and that the volume is loud enough to be heard over the noise of the motor. There are various buttons on the radios. On the top, there is a dial that you can use to change between channels. We are usually on channel one. On the side, there is an orange and black transmit button. Click the button and pause before you begin to talk to ensure that you are transmitting. The on and off button is on the side and so are the volume up and down buttons marked with a plus and a minus. When using the two-way radios, please remember that everyone is listening. Be polite and do not swear. Ensure that you are on the correct channel. This is usually Paddle Victoria Channel 1. Think about what has to be said before speaking. Listen before transmitting so as to not interfere with others already on the air. Keep your messages short and clear as possible. Use short, easily recognisable words. Check for understanding and request confirmation if necessary. When calling another station, state the call sign of the other station first and then identify yourself. For example, Chief Official, this is Safety Boat 1, over. If you are receiving a message, you then respond, Safety Boat 1, this is Chief Official, over. You always first communicate who you are speaking to and then your own name. This grabs the attention of the person who you are speaking to and then tells them who the message is coming from. After this initial communication, you can then communicate your message. It is acceptable practice after initial contact has been made to not repeat your own call sign except for in the closing transmission. For example, safety boat one, this is chief official, out. The safety boat driver's primary role is to drive the safety boat to provide on-water assistance for paddlers in need. They report to the safety officer during the race. This is a full-time role on race day. The safety boat driver must have a current Victorian Marine licence. A Victorian licence is also suitable for events on the Murray River. The person filling this role should have operated in the safety boat driver's role under the guidance of an experienced official before assuming this role unsupervised. The safety boat driver has a responsibility to ensure familiarity with the applicable state laws, position the safety boat as appropriate on the section of the course to which you have been assigned, to drive the safety boat to attend the, to paddlers that require assistance, extract paddlers from the course and deliver them to first aid if required, and provide evidence of a current Victorian Marine licence. The primary role of the safety boat crew is to crew the safety boat to provide on-water assistance for paddlers in need. 
they report to the safety boat driver and it is a full-time role on race day. The responsibilities of the safety boat crew are to assist paddlers who have capsized to empty their craft and continue racing if safe to do so. They are to determine if paddlers are fit to continue racing or withdraw them from the race if deemed necessary. Withdrawal may require confirmation from the safety boat officer or chief official if the paddler objects. And to extract paddlers from the course and deliver them to first aid if required. Before taking off, ensure that you have checked the equipment checklist and the fuel levels in the boat. Check that the bung is screwed into the boat and launch the boat. This takes a minimum of six people to get the boat onto the water. To start the boat, first check that the bung is screwed in tightly. Next, lower the motor into the water. Then, check the fuel line. Pump fuel from the tank up to the motor to prime the engine. Then you are able to start the boat. It is important that you know where the motor's kill switch is. This is on the end of a red bungee cord that, when detached from the motor, will stop the engine. When setting the course, refer to the course map and GPS to ensure that you set the correct distances. Set the starting buoys at zero kilometres, then Motor to the distance indicated for turn boy one, coming up slowly to the required point so as to not overshoot. Look for landmarks at the correct distance and then pause the GPS at this point. Then set the turning buoys. This is usually three buoys. Backtrack and then restart the GPS as you pass the turning buoy. Repeat for the other turn buoys and finish line. To deploy a turning buoy, check that the rope is not a tripping hazard in the boat. Ensure the rope is attached to the anchor and turning buoy. Slowly deploy the anchor over the side of the boat. Check that it is touching the bottom of the river or lake. Deploy the turning buoy slowly over the side of the boat and tie off any excess rope to ensure that the buoy is floating close to upright. When moving, operate the boat at a slow speed, producing no wake. This should be less than five knots. Moving fast will produce wake that will knock paddlers about and may cause some paddlers to fall in. To assist a tired paddler, First, radio the base to provide the status of the paddler and their boat number. Bring the tinny slowly alongside the paddler, motoring in neutral. You may need the oars inside the tinny to help get close to the paddler. The crew person may hold onto the kayak alongside the boat and the crew person and driver may assist the paddler into the tinny if required, making sure to only grab the paddler by their life jacket. Take note of the weight distribution in the tinny as the paddler boards 
to ensure that there is no capsize or water being taken on. Make sure that the paddler is okay and warm. There are foil blankets inside the tinnies if required. And last, radio the base to give an updated status of the paddler and notify first aid if required. To rescue a capsized boat. Once you have noticed capsized paddlers, first radio the base to provide the status and location of the paddlers. Bring the tinny alongside the capsized paddlers. You may need to motor in neutral and use the oars to get close if required. If necessary, secure the boat. Deploy the ladder to assist the capsized paddlers to enter the tinny. While boarding, ensure proper weight distribution in the tinny. Assist the paddlers into the boat. If required, you may grab paddlers by li their life jacket to assist them into the boat, but do not grab them by any other part of their body. Allow the paddler to enter the boat. Make sure the paddlers are okay and warm. There are foil blankets inside the tinny if required. Secure the kayak alongside the boat and radio the base to give an updated status, boat number and if first aid is required. Some notes for when rescuing paddlers. Do not turn off the tinny's motors, put them in neutral. Sometimes it may take some time to restart the motor and this wastes valuable time when rescuing paddlers. If required, you may grab paddlers by their PFD to assist them into the boats, but do not grab paddlers by any other body part. Some paddlers may wish to continue with their race after they have capsized. This is okay, provided they are not at a risk to their health. You can help paddlers over to the bank to re-enter their kayaks or help them re-enter their kayaks from the side of the tinny. To empty a kayak, first ensure that the kayak is upright. If there is a lot of water in the kayak, roll it on its side to get rid of excess water. Ensure the kayak is upright again and then hold the bow of the kayak, push this down underwater. This should cause the water in the kayak to run towards the bow. Next, lift the bow of the kayak up and turn the kayak on its side or all the way over so that the water empties through the cockpit. Repeat this procedure until the kayak is empty. Do not attempt to lift the kayak when it is full of water. This risks injury 
and damaging the craft due to the weight of the water inside. At the end of the race, the chief official may direct you to retrieve turning buoys. To do this, motor the boat slowly up to the turning buoy. Grab a hold of the turning buoy. Gradually lift the buoy into the boat, followed by the rope and anchor. In your folder, you will be given a turn buoy incident report form. It is important that on this form you record the race, the date, what turn boy you were at, and your name. Then it is important that you record details of the incident as you saw them. This includes the type of incident. Was it a boat collision? The boat numbers involved, and if you don't get the boat numbers, a description of the boats or paddlers to help us identify the boats that were involved what time the incident happened, a written description of the incident as you saw it, and a diagram if that helps to um, illustrate your description. Record the incidents on this sheet and inform the chief course umpire of the incident as soon as it occurs. Then at the end of your duties, return the sheet to the chief compa course umpire. On behalf of Paddle Victoria Marathon, we would like to thank you for volunteering to help run this race. Without volunteers, our races would not be possible.